Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your next cloud server after purchasing it from RootPal. So if you purchased a next cloud server through us and you click get started, you select the next cloud level you want and you click order now. You'll need to choose a domain name to set your next cloud server up at. So you can either register a new domain or use an existing domain. So if you have an existing domain already and you'd like to purchase, you already purchased your domain through GoDaddy or a different provider, you can um, use an existing domain by testing, you know, writing um, RuPal test and then put .com there and you click use and you can use your domain from a different provider. If you do not have a domain already, you will need to register a new domain for your next cloud server. The next cloud server needs a domain name to work. So if you don't have one, you can also register one right here and select the domain name from here. After selecting your domain name, you'll want to check out and after you check out, you will head to my services and you'll be able to see your next cloud server. So we'll click it right here under services. And we can see that we do have the next cloud server cloud level one. And we can click log into the plus control panel. So the next step is you'll get an email that will send all the information. Here's your login details, your password uh, to Plesk, which is the control panel cloud-ways.rupal.com. Um, this does this will have this video in it, which will be how to set up your next cloud server. It'll be this video you're watching right now. So if we scroll down farther, uh, you'll be able to see the name server one and name server two. So what you need to do is you have to set your uh, domain name to point to these name servers wherever you purchased your domain name or if you purchase the domain through us during the checkout process it'll automatically set it to ways.rupal.com and zona.rupal.com once you set your name servers up at your domain name you change to, uh, the name servers to point to rupal we're going to go back into plesk and see if it works so we're going to click it open in new uh, open a new web and you'll see the connection is not private. So what we have to do is install SSL. So I'm gonna install a free basic certificate, which is right here. And I'm, I'm gonna secure the domain. And I am gonna use all of these because I want SSL for um, my email. So I'm gonna click, click get it free. I will not be using Cloudflare because you cannot use Cloudflare with Nextcloud server. It's not possible because uh, Cloudflare has timeout issues with uploading files. There's a 300 second timeout, so you cannot use Cloudflare with Nextcloud server. I'm gonna click reload. And click right here and now let's open it up to see if it has the SSL and it does so the SSL was installed now that we have SSL installed it's time to install the next cloud server so we're gonna click next cloud and we're gonna click install and we're gonna choose the domain name right here and we're gonna choose a username and passwords so you need to remember this and the subfolder so if you want Nextcloud to be installed in a subfolder, um, other than, so a subfolder is basically root pal uh, nextcloud.com slash nextcloud. That's how you'll be able to access your Nextcloud server. So if you do want it in a subfolder, you can have it in a subfolder, but I preferably don't want it in a subfolder. So I'm just going to remove that so basically when i go to rootpalnextcloud.com it's going to load the next pal net it's going to load the next cloud server for the login page 
where people can log into. Some people would like to have it uh, in a subfolder for maybe more security, but it's not that more secure. So I'm just gonna remove the subfolder and click install. So now it's installing Nextcloud and setting everything up. And there we go, that was pretty quick. So now that Nextcloud is installed, it's gonna have this really cool um, journalized Nextcloud information and some also actions you can take. You can repair the installation, empty the trash, re-index files, there's a little icon here that tells you what it'll do as well. Um, you can open up in PHP admin, the database. Also, you can update Nextcloud from this screen. So right now it's on the stable channel, which is the latest version of Nextcloud. Let's say there's a Nextcloud update. You can click the, there'll be a little blue link right here, and you can actually click upgrade and it'll auto upgrade right directly from this screen and you can access this screen by just clicking next cloud right here and there you go so if i hover over here and I click open next cloud you can see the next cloud has loaded and it's on rupalnextcloud.com it redirects to index.php slash login so you can also click login right here and it'll auto log you in using the admin credentials so you can auto log in by clicking right this little login button. Also, you can download the mobile and desktop clients uh, directly from here and set it up. If you'd like tutorials on how to set up Nextcloud on your iPhone or on your desktop, we will be posting them in our YouTube channel or on our YouTube channel uh, on instructions how to set up Nextcloud on your phone and on your desktop as well. So stay tuned for that, it'll be coming soon. I'm going to click close and there we go. I mean, it, we have all the recommended files that basically tell you, you know, a little bit about Nextcloud. But the first thing I'm going to show you and what I recommend everyone doing, uh, if you want to play the Nextcloud intro, it'll talk about Nextcloud, you know, um, just a little intro thing. Uh, but uh, reasons to use Nextcloud, Nextcloud, Nextcloud manual. So if you want to, you know, research any information on how to do stuff, synchronize stuff, whatever. But I'm gonna show you what you need to do right away just because it's the basic hub applications we need to install. So we're gonna to go to apps right here. And we're going to click uh, app bundles. And we want the hub, bund the hub bundle. So we're gonna click enable all right here. And what this is going to do is it's going to enable everything in the Nextcloud hub, which is everything we want. Um, there are hundreds of different apps you can install on your Nextcloud server. And it's super powerful because you can customize your Nextcloud to have, you know, a custom logo to look a different way, have custom apps uh, that help your team do whatever. I'll show you that in a, in a second. But the, the main basic one everyone needs to have is the hub bundle. And if you don't want the hub bundle, you, you can just, you know, select and um, download and enable specific ones or disable them. It's completely up to you. Uh, as, as the admin, you'll be able to control this and limit it to your users. So you can limit the things that they can use. Um, and so they're only able to use specific apps where you can use everything as the admin. And they'll also, we'll be making video tutorials on that as well, so stay tuned. And this might take a second because it does have to download everything and enable it. So there you go, it just finished. But it downloaded and enabled everything, which you know sometimes could take up to a couple minutes to do everything. Um, so it didn't get the deck one, which is cool. So if you click on the deck right here, you'll actually be able to see what it does. So it has this little, little deck thing for your team. Um, I'm actually going to enable it because I like that. And 
and there we go. So if I click the talk one, you'll be able to see you can talk and screen share and do whatever you need to do right from your next cloud server. So I'm going to click the next cloud uh, homepage. And now I'll be able to see I have all the different apps up here so I can click talk and it'll load the next cloud talk server, which I can join a conversation or start a conversation with my users or allow guests to join it via link and password protected. So I'll, we'll be making videos on how to do this as well. So stay tuned for that. But that is the basic setup of your next cloud, next cloud server. If you want to look at the other apps, you can go to the apps right here and we can look at the featured apps, which if you click right here, you'll be able to see maps. There's news, notes, only office, um, restrict login to IP addresses so you can make it very secure. There's a lot of different things. There's two factor authentication uh, that you can connect with Google Authenticator or whatever. Um, it's very, 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 very powerful. It's a very powerful open source software that you can host with RootPal and basically have all these different features and all these different tools completely ready to go inside your own next cloud server hosted with RootPal. And then you have your mail right here and you can also, you know, set your location for weather or customize your panel. There's so many different things you can do and we will be making YouTube video tutorials on that, on all of it, but this is the basic setup of how to get started launching your next cloud server. Thank you and stay tuned for more.